Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Princess, if you didn't already know, and you are now in the princess lifestyle. So today we are getting into a review. Yes, yes indeed. Reviews are back in full force, honey, okay? So today we are getting into a review. Have I worn this shirt before? on this channel. I feel like I've only worn this shirt on Instagram. And then at that, I haven't like worn it in a full picture. So that's why I'm wearing it now because I want to take a full picture in this shirt. Anyway, today we are getting into <laughs> a review and I'm gonna be reviewing an entire new foundation line, okay? You can already tell by the title. We are getting into, drum roll please. We are gonna be getting into the new beauty Bakery foundations and the new Beauty Bakery concealers. All of it, okay? We're gonna be getting all up and through it. And their sponge. Is it called an egg? I feel like it was called an egg. Something like that. Anyway, this is their beauty sponge, so we're gonna be getting into that too. So, Beauty Bakery sent me a lot. Like, they sent me all of the foundations and all of the concealers, and I was just so overwhelmed. Thank you, Beauty Bakery, for sending a little old me all this product. So, I'm gonna leave a video of it somewhere so you guys can see the PR package, because Beauty Bakery really did it. What I liked about Beauty Bakery's PR package is that it was lots and lots of products, but not a lot of waste like they didn't include like a tv or something dumb like that because that's just stupid and they didn't include just a lot of unnecessary paper because you know we're all trying to be environmentally conscious we got to move in that direction so yeah i'm really happy about that and they also left a card saying something like something to the effect of if you have excess product pass it on to a fellow beauty lover, pass it on to a fellow makeup artist. And I already do that in my day-to-day -day life. Everybody who knows me and is like a friend of mine or even just an associate acquaintance of mine, all my makeup artist friends, they already know that on a weekly basis, they're receiving buckets full of product from me because I don't like to just sit on stuff. I don't like to sit on makeup. I used to do that, but I don't do that anymore because I know that there are so many people in beauty. There are so many makeup artists and makeup lovers that wish that they could afford to purchase all of the things that I am sent for free. So I am doing my part in the beauty community to share these products with people and share it with upcoming makeup artists that want these products but can't get their hands on it because they can't afford it yet and you know they're not paying they're not being paid what they deserve to be paid but you know they were in the grind they were in the struggle I've been there before when I was trying to do that makeup artist thing and I <laughs> I stopped and no more but I I know the struggle so I'm doing what I can to help the overlooked be I'm trying to take a little bit of weight off your shoulders, that's all. So if you are a beauty influencer watching this and you get a lot of products sent to you, make sure you're passing it on. Keep what you need for yourself, keep your shades, but pass on the rest because there are plenty of people in this world that would really trade a lot to be in your position. So just be mindful of that to all my other beauty influencers out there watching. Anywho, let's get into this review, okay? Listen, they have foundations, they have concealers, they got a lot of stuff, so let's get up into it. Okay, so I just pulled up Beauty Bakery's Instagram and their website. So if this is their Instabake, Aqua Glass Foundation and 3-in-1 Concealer. It is a filter-worthy skin-like finish. That's, that's saying a lot. Now y'all know I'm finna put it to the test, okay? So there are 30 shades of foundation and 18 shades of concealer. And it said delete your skin smoothing apps. So I'm supposed to delete face too. Y'all asking a lot, okay? What you mean? What you mean? I don't know. I don't know if I trust y'all like that. You want me to delete face soon? I paid $2.99 for it. Y'all gonna reimburse? What's up? Okay, one thing that Beauty Bakery did do is help you to discover your shade. So since I have all 30 shades, I am going to choose my shade group, which is dark, wham, 
and um, I'm not ultra deep, but I am deep. So deep is in the middle. I'm gonna wham that one. And then it says select your undertone. So the options are warm red, warm yellow, cool neutral. I, out of the three, would choose warm red. Okay, so they're saying I'm foundation 303W. Okay. And concealer shade one. Y'all sure? I don't think that's me, Trio Tree. Okay, we, 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 we gonna see. Okay, we is gonna see. Okay, so this is the shade 303W. Let me pull my shirt down a bit. Oh, I think they are, they are correct. I think so. 303W might actually be my exact shade. It might be like a tinge too red for me, but it's looking like it would be in the ballpark. So we're gonna prime first. Okay, so I'm gonna be using two different primers. The first primer I'm gonna use is the Huda Beauty Complexion Perfection Pre Makeup Base. This is like their hydrating primer. And then I'm gonna follow up with my Huda Beauty Matte Perfection Pre Makeup Base. And this is their mattifying primer. And I'm only putting this in my T zone, okay? And once again, my wig is not fully on. Just letting you guys know, because I do not plan on putting it fully on. All right, okay. Focusing this primer on the outsides, the perimeters of my lovely face. Yes, I just called my own face lovely. If you're new here, I'm all about self-love, self-care, bigging up yourself, because if I don't big myself up, who will? You feel me? I don't wait on compliments from others. I let myself know I'm out here killing it. Feel me? Is that a dry patch? It surely is. Gotta be careful with that mattifying primer. Oh, that's two dry patches. One here and one here. I feel them. May not be able to see them, but I can feel them. Listen to your skin, people. Listen to your skin. Next up, hydrating. I mean, <laughs> mattifying. And I'm putting this in the areas where I get oily. That's where I'm focusing. And that would be my T-zone. Okay, y'all. Y'all know what's up. Don't act new. Y'all know what's good. Okay, with that primer settle in and sit on down in my skin. Okay, so when I did my uh, shade finder thing on Beauty Bakery's website, it did say to correct and conceal that I would need to use shade number one of their three-in-one concealer. And this shade is called Fun Intended. Like pun, it's spelled P-H-U-N Intended. Okay, so I'm gonna go in and do some correcting. If you're new here, and even if you're not new here and you just haven't noticed, I don't use color correctors. I like either foundations with a corrective undertone or using concealers with a corrective undertone. I don't like to, you know, do the whole orange situation. I feel like, oh, look at the shape of this. So cute. Can you guys see it? Look at the shape. How cute. It's like a dome or something. Let's get closer. Zoom. <laughs> I zoomed you guys all the way in. You're all up in my business right now. Let's go ahead and correct or whatever. So I'm gonna focus on the scarring that I have here and the hyperpigmentation around my mouth. Okay, all right. Mind your business about my edges. Focus on your lack of edges. Okay, thanks. And I need it right now. 10 toes down, show them what it's all about. This is looking like it's too dark for me. This is looking like I'm contouring. 
Am I crazy or am I correct? But we're gonna blend it out anyway, huh? Check your way, always the even when them boys come out. We don't gotta lay low. We grown. We don't need no chaperone. Is it me or did this look like it was a contouring situation? Am I crazy? Is it Chris? I don't think so. Yeah, I feel like that concealer is too dark for me, but it does feel like a very good concealer, I'll say that much. Yeah, too dark. Good undertone, but too dark. Okay, so this is the number two concealer. That would be one, sh supposedly one, a step down, but um, this is too light. This is like a graham cracker shade and the undertone is off. And this is number three, also too light. Yeah, I can see why they said use number one to correct. It's understandable. I'm not going to continue to use it. Probably not. Because it's hella dark for me. It's being extra nice. Cuffing season is coming around and it's being extra nice. It's too late, boo. It's too late, bruh. You had your chance. It's too late you done had your chance you had your turn up to bat and you fumbled the play yeah i'm a little frightened by their choice of concealer for me it's definitely too dark the only reason i took it around to this side is for congruence so i basically just underpainted i contoured luckily um the places on my face that I wanted to correct were all on the perimeter, so yay. Okay, so let's just go ahead and get into the foundation. So this is the Beauty Bakery Insta Bake Insta Bake Aqua Glass Foundation. Beauty Bakery, you've gotten me hype, and it's a very liquidy foundation. Y'all know I love a good liquidy foundation. So that's one pump. Let's start with one pump and let's use their you know their is this a blending egg i can't remember the name of this sponge but yes let's go and it's looking like it's my shade good job beauty bakery with the shade finder oh look at that look at this this is good this is pretty Oh yeah, that's, that's, that's good stuff. So this is shade 303. I like this sponge, it's so squishy. I like it. Let's get some more fat foundation going. Do they say it's full coverage? I can't really remember. The coverage on this is a maze. I'm still on one pump. Wig is coming up. Okay. I'm liking it. So far, so good. And that was one pump. Are y'all absorbing that fact? That was one pump. This is just one pump on my whole face. I'm gonna do a little on my neck, just for congruence. Gotta be careful. Gotta be careful. I think I'm good. I don't think I wanna do another layer. I think I'm straight. Let's move on to concealer. Okay, so of all the shades that I'm gonna hold on to, I think I'm gonna use probably number five, Dissertation. Or maybe number six. Or maybe that's too light. Let's see three and four. Let's try four first. Well, four looks lighter than three. Yeah, all right. 
it's from the other way. I had to remember the numbering system with Beauty Bakery because they go from darkest to lightest. So number three is on the darker side than number four. Number three is called Pretzelvania. Number four is called Bake in My Heart. So I'm gonna start with three. It's giving me graham cracker, but I like. I love the shape of these wands. I like that, Beauty Bakery. I see you being different. I see you, sis. And this is number four. It's jaw light. <laughs> it's jaw light. That's jaw light. Grow light. Grow light. I hope they come out with more shades of concealer. They can definitely put some in between certain shades, like between three and four. We gonna need some more shades. Okay, thank you. Okay, these set relatively quickly. Not too quickly, but relatively quickly. Okay. Yeah, these concealers will set pretty quickly. Not pretty quickly, but don't lollygag. These aren't the watery type of concealers where you get a lot of um, playtime with them. So get to blending with the quickness, you feel me? Okay, I'm gonna pick up that number one concealer again and I'm gonna do a, a little light, light situational contouring situation, okay? I'm just gonna do a little right there, okay? I'm gonna do a little right there, okay? A little and a right there, you know what I'm saying? Then a little right at the nose, you know what I'm saying? Then a you know? I'm not trying to do too much, but I'm trying to do the most, you feel me? Yeah. This is how I contour my nose. This is my lazy contour. Good job, be very careful with these concealers. As soon as you put them things down, they set. Can I get a breather? Can I get a break? Give me something, give me everything. Okay, we looking, we looking good now. I was scared before, but we is looking better. I'm gonna do my brows and I'll be right back, okay? I'll be right back, stay right there, don't move, okay? This is the final look. So far, I have no complaints about the foundation, but I am going to go ahead and go outside and wear it and see if it can withstand the heat. It's not too hot outside, but it is hot. So we're gonna see if it can um, hold up for a couple of hours. I'm not gonna do like a long stretch of time. That's not what I'm doing with this video. But so far, so good. I like how the foundation feels. I like that it's not 
super matte, but it's hydrating. Like I have some dry skin issues right now and my skin is peeling right here from a peel that I did a couple of days ago. So I was expecting this foundation to look a little more rough in those areas, but surprisingly enough, it went on very, very, very smoothly. And I think part of the reason will be due to their sponge, which is really, really good, surprisingly enough. I didn't think I'd like it as much as I do. So this is where we are look-wise. Um, let's go to Sephora. I have some things to return and I think I might go ahead and pick up the Pat McGrath foundation again. I know I'm embarrassed for myself, okay? So uh, let's go. All right, so I'm back. Went to a few stores, went to the mall, went to Home Goods, went to Marshalls, went to CVS, got a few things. You know how I love to go to um, Home Goods and get some skincare stuff and some hair care stuff. I really focused on oils. Anyway, if you watch my Insta story and you watch my Snapchat, then you already know the tea on oils all the things that I got and usually get from Home Goods, So we're not gonna get into that, but um, I'm back. I've had this face on for like five hours. It's 10 p.m. now, and I put this makeup on around five-ish, something like that. At the very latest, I put it on at six, but I think I put it on around five. So yeah, I have not done any touch-ups at all, not even half of a touch-up, and I look exactly how I looked <laughs> before I left. This foundation is really good. It, for me, is too, I won't say the foundation is too matte, but the way I set my face was too much for me. Before I set my face, I liked how the foundation felt better. It doesn't feel bad now, I just don't. I prefer a dewy type of look. I prefer a more skin-like look than the super matte look, which is what I'm giving you guys right now, even though I look great. So I am gonna wear this foundation again and I wanna try it without the super duper baking situation and see how that goes. I'm still gonna bake my nose because I'm really impressed with how matte my nose has stayed. Like it, it's a teensy bit oily, just a little, little, little bit, but not much at all. And I think with every single foundation, my nose always pushes the barrier with how good the foundation is and really releases those oils too soon. So I'm really impressed with what I'm giving right now. I. I really, really am. I will say with this foundation, I am gonna need to color correct. 303 is definitely my exact shade, or it might be a little bit too red, I can't really remember, but 303 is the shade that I would definitely go for. Their shade finder as far as foundation is spot on. The concealer one, it was too dark. They suggested the number one concealer and that's not going to conceal me. That's not going to conceal princess. That's going to contour princess. So um, be careful with the concealer portion of it all. But yeah, this is, I'm loving what's going on. I would want to color correct, not color correct, but use a corrective concealer that is my actual shade. So I would reach for one of my corrective concealers and correct around my mouth and um, any scarring from past blemishes that I have on my face or any hyperpigmentation at all, I would go ahead and correct that with my correcting concealer with any one of them. And then I would go in with this foundation. So I am gonna do this, I mean, use these products again because I do like this foundation and I wanna get to know it some more. The concealer, the concealer is really good. I like the finish of the concealer and I like the staying power of the concealer. All you have to know with the concealer is that it sets rather quickly. I'd say it sets a little bit faster than Fenty Beauty's concealer and Fenty Beauty's concealer sets pretty quickly. 
But the faster a concealer sets, the better the staying power. So I'm cool with the concealer setting quickly. I have no problem with that at all. I am the type of person who's willing to put in the work to blend, so it doesn't make any difference for me. But if you're that type of person that wants some leeway with their concealer, you might wanna mix this concealer with another one, you know, to loosen it up a little bit. But I love this concealer. I love the finish of it, and I love the staying power of these products as a whole. So I'm just loving how I'm looking. I love the, the whole combination of what's going on here. I'm, I'm really enjoying myself. Um, I went to Sephora and everybody was like, oh my gosh, girl, what you got on your skin? And I was very happy to say Beauty Bakery because you know, Beauty Bakery is only sold at Ulta as far as I know and not Sephora. So I was like, I'm wearing the new Beauty Bakery foundation. Yeah, it's not here, it's at Ulta. I don't really go to Ulta because Ulta doesn't really have what I want. You know what I mean? Not really my aesthetic, but I was really happy to say that. So <laughs> shout out to Ulta for getting out of my mouth. So yeah, that's where I am with this. Um, I'm going to go try to take some pictures, try to look like um, the girl, which is who I am, the girl. And um I'm all right with not having lashes. I don't know if I'm just getting used to my face, but I feel like I still look good. I mean, I know I still look good. It's just an adjustment. You know, I feel like a glamorous naked mole rat with some chocolate on her. <laughs> That's how I feel. That's what I'm giving. I'm giving dark skin, naked mole rat realness, okay? All right, so <laughs> I love you all so very much. Thank you for watching. Pay attention to my Instagram because I'm gonna be wearing this, this combo, this foundation concealer combination again on my Instagram. I don't know if I'll be able to get that video up on here, but it's definitely gonna be on IG. So if you're not following me on IG, make sure you go to the link in my bio or just go straight to my IG and type in the princess lifestyle. And there I am, baby. What's up? All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I love you all to the moon and back around time and time again, okay? And I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye. <laughs>